This one's going to be on Ranger, and some of the built-in features that I don't think a lot of people use, or maybe they're not aware of it, but I'll try to highlight some that I think is useful. So the first one being is if I ever download something uh, off the internet, and I don't remember what the name of it was, I'll actually sort it by time. And the way to do that here is just uh, hitting O and then M, right? And this will uh, sort it by the creation date. And I know that these ones are um, the ones I just downloaded. And uh, it'll be in that order. It'll be from the top. So I can go, you know, GG all the way to the top. Uh, and I know that the files that are the highest up top it is the newest one, right? Um, if you still want to go back to the way uh, it was by sorting by name, so O and then base name is B, right? So O and B is to go back to the way it was. Right, uh, the files will be under the uh, folders actually, but uh, everything else will be in uh, you know ABC order and all that. Um, next thing is if you want to do bulk rename, and let's say for example, I do I'll highlight some files here, right? And I'll do um, what is that? The uh, colon bulk rename, you can actually hit tab to auto complete it, right? And it'll actually open up with your text editor. I'm using Vim here, but you know, it's the same. And if I want to like add a uh, prefix to this or something like that, I'll, let's say put um, pics or something, right? And you'll see that uh, it'll prefill all this one out and I'll do a bulk rename real quick. And where the hell is my pics something here? There you go, uh, pics, right? So that's the way that you would uh, rename it here, um, real easy. Now, if uh, next thing was the next thing, oh, actually, uh, I bind this to because I don't want to type it out like bulk rename every time, so I just bind it to uh, B K, right? For Burger King, whatever. Um, and then if I want to undo it, I just you know delete this, and it's back to the way it was. Uh, we have our files again, right? Um, with the other names that we had before. Anyways, that's bulk rename. Just using your text editor uh, within um, the bulk rename features that I have in Ranger. Next thing is deselecting. Before, when I was selecting stuff, um, it was kind of stupid. Like, you know, I would try to deselect it. And the way that I deselected back in the past, I would just hit Control and R. But that's not the way that you want to deselect because that's just like refreshing it. So Control and R, and you see it'll deselect it, but it'll actually put your um, what was that? Whatever uh, your cursor is at or your highlighting is at will be up to the top again, and you uh, lose your place. So that's not the way that you should deselect. The way that you deselect is let's say for example we'll select all these. And then uh, I want to deselect those f those things that I just highlighted. I'll use U and then V. So U and V, and that is it. All right? I'll deselect it, and your cursor, whatever you're at, will still be there, and so you don't lose your place. Um, kind of annoying in the past, but uh, you know I actually looked into it, and then that's how you do it. So U and V to deselect something. All right. The next one is. Actually, you can do a dual ping, but this one's called multi uh, ping view, I believe. Uh, basically, it's like dual ping, but you can actually have more than that if you want. So right now, we're in our downloads folder, but let's say, for example, I will bust out my media folder or something here. Right. Uh, let's do another one too. Uh, let's create another one. We'll go into this one here. Right. So now we have if we tab between them. Right, we have um, three here. So this is my downloads folder, uh, torrents, and then we have some Android stuff here, right? But if you want to look at all at the same time, you hit uh, Shift and Squiggy line here, or the Inye sign, I believe that's what it's called. Um, you know, you can actually still look at them, but you see them all at the same time. So different folders here, right? You can interact it with different uh, ways. Um, was in here right you can still do all this but you have um, you know uh, multi ping view and you can actually have more pings if you want or you just want to go back to a dual ping you can still do it the dual ping style so this one has the column view and the dual ping no we're not a dual ping but 
multi pane view all right so you hit shift in the Enya sign that's how you toggle between the modes that you can do right so the normal way that we do it is a column view and the other one is the multi pane view that you can do and you can still tap between you know the different panes right anyways that is the multi pane view that you can do uh, which I don't think a lot of people know about that but it actually has it built in that you can do uh, the next thing is the task uh, view uh, this thing here this is basically for queuing up processes so let's say if you want to copy multiple files um, you know and uh, you want you don't want to do all the same time because that will take up uh, resources so let's say you're copying a big file and you want to have that first file to be completed and then do the next one and the next one it's kind of like a task puller in here but basically it manages uh, you know different cues that you can do right anyways let me show you an example let's say we copy files we have to do a big file so you can actually see the progress so let's say for example we're gonna go into my um, yeah we'll go to what is that Do we have that we'll go back to this we have some TV shows here that we can do and where should we put this one here we'll put it in we'll put it in here okay so let's say for example we'll copy this uh, TV show here we'll do YY and if you want to paste in here and to be in the queue, you have to do P and then um, capital P. So you can do paste, but you can see it has a different paste here. So that's the normal paste with the lower P. But if you do the capital P, it will actually append it and it will do the uh, task view and it will queue it. So let's say, for example, let's do that again here. We'll do YY for yanking it and then P, capital P to paste it all right and then we do another one let's say uh, we do this uh, black mirror or whatever Y Y P capital P and now if you hit W you'll see that you have it in your task view right so this first one that we're copying it has to finish before it goes on to the next uh, task that we assign it to right and that is the task view that uh, you can do in here um, for mainly copying files you know uh, copying files like in order so this one's like about let me see here 3.16 gigs here and then once that is done it will actually go on to the next one see this black mirror one that we're copying this one's like a 1.79 gigs here and that is basically what the task view is is mainly to monitor uh, and queue different uh, tasks that you're doing you probably can do other things besides just uh, copying files but that's one of the things that you could do here with the task view and you can see your um, tasks that you assign right and once it's done it just clears it automatically uh, I'm not sure if, if there's a way to see what you've done I wish that there was a way I'm not sure you can do that but as soon as it's finished it just ke uh, clears the queue um, right there by default However, I, I wish that there was a, uh, you know, a list of completed tasks and current queue tasks like they had in Task Puller. But uh, at that moment, um, that's just the way they do it. Just clear it automatically once it's done. So that's it. That's how you would uh, do the, the task view and, you know, queuing up different things you can do. Uh, the last one. Okay, this one is extracting. I'm not sure why... I remember I read this in the man page before uh, a long time ago, but I didn't see it recently. So uh, maybe it's a hidden <laughs> features that not a lot of people know about. But you can actually uh, extract using a hotkey that they have built in. If I can find a file that we can use to extract here. What is this here? Oh, no, we have one in our downloads, right? So, for example, if I want to have this uh, FBA here. Right. If I want to extract a zip file or, or any other archive, I hit 1 and an L. So 1, L, and this one has a built-in feature to extract stuff. So we'll wait for it to extract here. This one's about, uh, what was that, uh, 300, 
megabytes so here we go we have our PSP and this is the thing that we extracted here so one and else to extract stuff um, let's see here this mod me thing here we'll do one and L and this one extracts that one too right and there we go that's that's the the hockey for that uh, not sure why uh, they don't mention that anymore because uh, I remember I read that in the man page a long time ago but uh, it doesn't exist now and I'm not sure but one and an L is to extract stuff uh, you know archives and stuff like that anyways those are some of the features that I use that I don't really see a lot of people mention that much and if you're using Ranger uh, and you didn't know about those features give it a try see if you like it you know um, that'd be it for this one.